Yeah, let the let the record reflect that is documented in the Quran that states the angel Harat of Morat was the ones that brought magic. Now, the magic that they brought was a means to assist and help people. Now, nevertheless, these are identified as angels. Some may call them fallen angels, some may not. But they, anytime that it states that these angels have given magic to the people to use it for good. So, white magic, black magic, it wasn't no such thing. It was just magic as a means to use and tap into resources to heal, protect, provide, assist, and much more. And it says, mankind twisted and changed that was exact and correct for negative purposes. You understand? So we have the ability to, to have free will. Now, I say that to give clarity that the first book that was given that was stated is the Torah. Second book was the Injil. Third book was the Quran al Kareem. For those who, who understand and like to know. Me being spiritual and me being an um, a educator, I still like to seek knowledge all the way to end of China. So I just want to abreast people um, in the books. Those who follow these uh, different books understand that's where magic came from. So we can use the arts if you use it for good. Because if you understand what the Catholic do, it's pretty much light candles, doing libations, and so forth, etc. It's a form of divination. They have the uh, uh, the image of Mary and Jesus. Just as on an altar, you might have your ancestors and pictures and so forth and so on, right? In the church, they have pictures and images of Jesus, even the cross, right? Even on your altar, you may have the cross or you may have the ankh or you may have stones, well, they have different things of this nature that also identify with earth elements, even in the church and the temple, you see? So if you understand that your body is made up of a temple, it's like it to a temple because the spirit resonates within you. So don't shy away and don't be afraid of speaking about magic because the Quran talks about at Babylon, Harat and Marat, but they the two angels do not teach anyone unless they say we are a trial so do not believe do not disbelieve by practicing magic and yet they learn from them that by which they cause separation between a man and his wife but understand if the angels is only good and no good and it's identified even the angels identify with whom Allah is that the angels gave them something that they turned around and used it for negativity let's carry on and yet they learn from them that which they cause separates between a man and his wife but they do not harm anyone though except by permission of Allah and they people learn what harms them and does not benefit them but they the children of Israel certainly knew that whoever purchased magic would not have in the hereafter and share and wretch is that for which they sold themselves see understand ask yourself why would someone give poison in the water and say here this is poison in the water that you can take this poison in the water and um 86 your partner or this person if they consume it or small drops on it will weaken them is that in the third so you have to understand that um why would they say is that it came by permission of Allah when Satan himself is the author of evil period you see so i for one don't accept and believe that part that they would say that it came and it was except by allah permission of allah because the devil don't go to allah or god for the mankind and womankind who need to understand that to ask permission to do evil and then if that's the case that would say as if 
God sanctions good and evil. Then why is the devil around when all evil have to go through God? So that don't make no sense to me. I don't follow that. And not everything is written is to be accepted as full of truth. That's why you have the intelligence to discern right and wrong. All right. And they follow what the devil used to recite the reign of Solomon. Now, I mean, understand Solomon was one of the um, prophets who knew magic, was one of the um, high exalted ones in the sense that even the ants and the jinns, even the higher demonic force, better known as the Isaroth, obeyed Solomon. This is how in Judaism you see that they have the Solomon seal and the Solomon seal when things dealing with Solomon dealing with magic. Jinns live like humans. Jinns are also believers. Jinns have a community and they're also married. Now again, force. I speak to say and to identify that we do have forms of um, divination that even speaks about in the Bible that there was a person who was, see if I can find that passage for you. And it's somewhere in Acts where a person was plagued by an evil spirit. And it was told by the prophet or one of the messengers or disciples, I'm not mistaken, that um, to boil some fish and the scent of the boiling of the fish will run the evil, the demonic force away. Now, that's a form of magic. But that word magic is the words that we use in English terms, but we just call it another higher form of tapping into ways of dealing with uh, matters, PP. And we didn't call that magic in the East. They call people like doctors, witch doctors, herbalists. So let's get back into the roots of the thing, man. And don't shy away from my way. Let's stick to our way. One.